Because the word of God, you have made it a meditation. You are making it running through your mind. And that is how you are able to, to transform this word yeah, into from, from information into revelation and then to manifestation. Praise the Lord. By you meditating, by you thinking through it, by you thinking through it, even the, the, that uh, mountain that seemed to be impossible to be moved. Hallelujah. If you think through it, if you get the word of God and start thinking through it, start thinking through it, start thinking through it, let me tell you something, that the impossible will take place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So today I, I'm here to encourage you, brethren, that there are, there are things that you're believing God for and they seem to be way impossible. Hallelujah. Way impossible. But the Lord can do it for you. Amen. I remember there's a time uh, my wife and I, we were... We were very, uh, we are very, um, you'll be holding it. What? Okay, it's okay. No problem. <laughs> Is this too dark? Too dark. Yeah, okay. Sour, sour. Hallelujah. There's a time that my wife and I, we were, um, uh, our income levels were pretty down. We were pretty down, I can assure you. And uh, even there's a time we were almost being auctioned. Yeah. And, uh, and I felt, um, I felt bad. I felt, um, you see, the point where you, you come to a point and you just, uh, you are restless in your spirit and you say, why? Yeah, and and we, we chose to believe God that you have a better life than this. You have a better life than this. We declare that. Do you know we are almost uh, uh, chased out of the, the house because of, of not paying the rent and um, being auctioned? Even their training of coming to lock, to put their own padlock. Can you imagine that kind of embarrassment? Praise the Lord. And let me tell you, there was nothing that we had done wrong. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, uh, but just the operations that we have been doing, we did not believe God. We did not include God in our finances. Amen. And therefore, it came to our, it became a breaking point for us and said, no, 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 no. God, uh, we, we are welcoming you into our finances. Take over. We declared that uh, because the Lord became poor, that we became rich. Through his poverty, I am rich. That's what started declaring. Started muttering. Started muttering. Started muttering. Guess what happened? Uh, as I started muttering, the, the, the angels were being, um, were, were being moved up and down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah? And, and as something happened somewhere, yeah, without our knowledge, hallelujah, uh, a mistake happened somewhere. And somebody was uh, reprimanded for that mistake. And guess what happened? I became the replacement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The way it happened, we don't know. All we know is we came to a point and made a decision. Started muttering, started meditating on the word of God concerning finances. Amen. Hallelujah. And something tangible happened. Our income level changed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are still believing God. I mean, we are not satisfied yet. We are still believing God for higher. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because one thing we know, we are stewards. And the more money I, I, I have, the, the more money we have, the more we can do for the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are like those taps. Amen. The taps that are open and, and water is passing through. Amen. We are not, we're not just a, a, a basin. We are a tap that, 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 uh, that water, that oil, that richness can go through us to other people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that, that's our, our posture. In believing God for, 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 for wealth. And we keep on declaring, even right now, we declare but, uh, that, that we, we, we but in the name of Jesus, we, my family and I, we walk in abundance of wealth. With that, with that, that understanding, you see, the, you, you, you are thinking and you are, that, that meditation is based on the word. And that word for me is that uh, the Lord became poor so that I can become rich. Hallelujah. That through his poverty, I can become, I am rich. So he declared, he said, because the Lord, you became poor for me. So I become rich. And therefore, I receive that right. I receive that uh, promise that I am rich. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Not because of my own bragging. Not because of my consumption. Not because of my own family. No, 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 no. It's for me to be, have more capacity to be of help in the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. And therefore, as you, as you study the word of God and you matter over it, you matter over it, you matter over it, yeah? Praise the Lord. Something tangible happens. Amen. And let me tell you one thing. Um, there's a time um, 
Reverend Timothy came and taught us how to dissolve doubt. I don't know how many were here to, to receive that word. And, and his way was uh, speaking in tongues as you put that mind, that, that means you put that thing in your mind. That's another way of, of also meditation. You come to a situation whereby you don't seem to have a way. Put that thing in your mind and start speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. And the Lord will give you a word. And that word, when he gives you that word, you start muttering. You start, you start running through your mind. And let me tell you one thing, a solution will take place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So therefore, even I urge you, if you are here or you are listening to us through the, uh, the, to, to, to the virtual way and you are, you, you are not able to speak in tongues, uh, believe God for the infilling of the Holy Spirit, yeah? for the full immersion of the Holy Ghost in your life, the baptism by fire. Hallelujah. So that you'll be able to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. And be able to operate at a higher level. Amen. So I, 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 I'm just here to, to encourage you, brethren, that there is a facet, there is a facility that we can use to go to a higher level, to, to, to go to where God wants us to be. Yeah? And this is through meditation, through uh, taking that word of God. As you read the word of God, uh, uh, there, there are times that you read the word of God and something jumps at you. Amen? Yeah? You, 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 read, you read a scripture and it, it, it just clicks and says, hey, and you realize it's the realm of word. Take that word. Praise the Lord. Start muttering. Start muttering. Start muttering. Hallelujah. Yeah? You come across an impossible situation and, and, and you are looking at it and you don't seem to know the word or what to say about it. Ah, don't worry. Start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. And the Lord will drop into you, into, into your system, the word. And when you get the word, you start muttering. Hallelujah. You start thinking through it. You start breaking it down inside of you. Amen. And I can assure one thing. Something tangible will take place. Hallelujah. The angels, uh, they, 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 they are our, they, 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 the Bible says they minister, they, they minister for the heirs of salvation. We are the heirs of salvation. We are the saved. Amen. And the, the angels, they minister for us, not to us, for us. Amen. So when you are muttering and you're declaring that word, an angel is speaking that word and going to effect it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If in your neighborhood there seems to be some sort of uh, restlessness and, uh, and there's no settlement in your, in your neighborhood, uh, start declaring the word of peace. Praise the Lord. Yeah? You say, peace be still. Peace be still. No, no chaos in this neighborhood. No fightings, no violence in this neighborhood. We start declaring that. The angels go forth and they're affecting what you're saying. Praise the Lord. So you have a divine backup. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter whether you are a, a tiny person and you can, you can say these things. Let me, tell, let me tell you something. The angels are there for us. They have, they have divine backup and it's a facility that we need to use. Amen. Can you imagine at the, uh, at the end of ages when you are uh, when we are, we are being ushered into, uh, into the clouds yeah, uh, and, and we, are, we are feasting with Jesus and, and we are just uh, uh, talking and fellowshipping about our experiencing on earth. And then you, are, you, 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 you start saying uh, uh, to somebody, yes, I had a powerful um, life. Um, I had a powerful ministry of BTM and, uh, and, and, and we really received the word of God. Uh, and even pastor was praying with me and I got uh, uh, jobs and I got uh, properties uh, and, and we really did a lot for the kingdom of God. Then when you stop, somebody else starts telling you, yes, this is, hey, I had a powerful uh, time on earth. And, uh, and, and, and I believe God for, 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 the, for, for, for healing. I used to, I used to be uh, sick with, uh, with, with cancer and I believe God and God healed me. I, I, my, my family, uh, we got into an accident. We almost, uh, we almost died, but I believe God and none of us uh, was, uh, had a broken bone. So I started wondering, hey, are we together? Are you seeing? It's a different level. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for you not to have a regret when you are up there, because that is a feast of merriment, a feast of joy. Eh? Eh, there, should be no, there should be no room for, for regret. Why can't you do it now? Praise the Lord. You have all the, 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 the time, you have all the opportunity to be able to exercise this word. If you can exercise this word in your life, you become a blessing, not only to yourself, not only to your family, not only to your colleagues, even to the society that you're in, the community that you're in. You show forth light. Amen. Why? Because the, 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 the world, the world, the world has darkness. Yeah? But when you stand on this word, that word 
produces light. Amen. And I can assure you one thing. When you are in darkness and when you see a light, naturally, you will just move towards the light. Hallelujah. And therefore, if you're in your workplace and you are the one with the light, I can assure you one thing. The people shall move towards you. Amen. Hallelujah. They may come and start saying other things like, they, ah, we the bishop pray to, eh, things to mock you. But when they have a problem, they run to you. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, uh, Reynard. Uh, thank you. Uh, you are Jana. We are We because it's an embarrassing. Hallelujah. Why? They recognize the light in you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, brethren, I urge you to come to that position of speaking the word after you have believed. How do you believe? Meditation. Hallelujah. Meditation. And one thing we learned on Sunday. And uh, this is what Pastor uh, brought forth with, a, with an anointing. Huh? He said that the first action, the first corresponding action to your faith is what? Speaking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are a talking church. We are a talking kingdom. Hallelujah. I remember when, the, when, when, the, when um, uh, COVID uh, came to Kenya, uh, I received this word. I received this word and it was bumbling in my heart. And when I got the opportunity or to, to, to share it, because it, I was given a time to, just, I think it just announcement, the Lord told me, say it. And I, told, and, and, and I remember I shared with us that never be quiet in this season. Remember that, that, that word? That was the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Never be quiet in this season. And I've heard of testimonies of people who got, who got uh, this COVID. <laughs> Hallelujah. And even, even their, their years were, were those, those beyond 60 years. Because huh? these are uh, somebody who was retired and he got COVID. So all indications were that this, this guy might go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he had COVID, he had other elements, he had other things. So all indicators, all logic conclusion was, hey, will you at the end? Hallelujah. But he chose to refuse. And he started battling this thing. Even at night, when people are sleeping, him is up and about. Imagine, uh, uh, really struggling to breathe, but speaking in tongues and declaring the word of God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just have to get this word and you just declare it. You declare it. You walk around with it. You declare radically. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I mean, it's your life. This is your life. Don't be intimidated by other people. Don't be coward. Uh, uh, not, to, no, not to show people your Bible. Or even if, if it's in your phone. Read that Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For those who are trying to mock you and, and, and are saying bad things about you, they will turn back and run to you when there's problems. For they recognize there's light in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that man uh, the, uh, uh, fighting that, that war, he got healed. Amen. Medicine and hospitals could not help him, but he got healed. Why? Because he chose to exercise his faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and therefore, brethren, let's use this, this facility. This, this, this facility is there for us to use. Hmm? So, so the Bible says that thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So it is all the time. Hallelujah. All the time you should be meditating about it. Even at night, put, uh, put uh, preachings and, uh, and spiritual uh, songs yeah? at night. Let it run. Let it run through the night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because your spirit is not asleep. Your spirit can hear. Yeah? So let it hear uh, the word of God. Let it hear the, 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 the spiritual songs. Amen. Hallelujah. Cover yourself with the, with, with the preachings and, uh, and, and spiritual songs. Preachings from people you know are full of faith. Hallelujah. Don't just pick any preachings. Eh? You know they are crazy people these days. Eh? So pick those you know. Hallelujah. Pick those you know. I can vouch for Reverend Timothy. I can vouch for Pastor Tony. Hallelujah. I, I can vouch for, for Kenneth Copeland. I can vouch for uh, Jerry Savelle. I can vouch. There are people who are of faith that you can, you can recognize. And if you don't know, let the Holy Ghost lead you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And shall lead you to the right people. Because sometimes it, it, may be, it may be very bad if you receive things that are not of God. Eh? Praise the Lord. The other preacher, the preachers who, who speak the word, but they are speaking from their canon nature, not from the from the spiritual. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. So uh, this, this is the word that I wanted us to share this day concerning uh, meditation. And meditation transforms your uh, believing about to believing in. Amen. Yeah, when you, I remember when I was, um, when I was just uh, uh, in the, my early uh, years of uh, getting born again, that was in, in, 19, uh, in 1994, I got born again. And uh, I remember uh, prior to that, every year, I, I used to, uh, my, 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 my parents had assigned me a doctor, a private doctor. Because every year, twice in a year, I used to have tonsillitis. Tonsillitis is the infection in your throat. Huh? The infection that, that, that uh, affects the tonsils in your throat. Okay? And it can be very bad, even that uh, can cause you not to speak, can even bulge. Hallelujah. And can cause you to have a very bad cold, like flu like uh, symptoms. Okay? So it can be very um, 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 deterrent to, to, to what you do and be render you unproductive. So every year I used to uh, attend, be attended to that doctor. Twice a year. Then I got born again. And the enemy decided, ah, ataongeza dose. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So it, it hit me hard. I was uh, bedridden and having a running, um, running nose. I uh, couldn't do much. I couldn't talk. Okay? So uh, the person who led me to Christ came to my house and looked at me and told me, the enemy is playing with you. Imagine. Now, let me give you a background because you might, uh, you might think uh, this person is just saying things. Huh? The person who led me to Christ is a friend of mine who is a, was a medical student then. Right now he's a, he's, he's, he's a doctor. He's a medical doctor. That time he was a medical student. And for me, I was a veterinary student that time. Praise the Lord. So these are people who understand science, who understand medicine. Hallelujah. And this man came and told me, the enemy is playing around with you. So definitely I could, I could hear him because I knew he has knowledge. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when I heard that, I said, hey, okay. I got that from a typical Bible about the scriptures on healing. I gathered. That time I, I didn't have a smartphone, so I, I, I got some this Bible, from this Bible, uh, the topics on healing. Even there was a, a I think there's a brother who gave me a topical Bible, and I just went through healing. And the topical Bibles, even if, right now, even, even in a smartphone, you can, you can, you can download topical, uh, whereby it's a topical Bible whereby it, it is embedded into topics. So you get to a topic of healing, you get scriptures. A topic of sorrow, you get scriptures. A topic of, uh, of, um, of wealth, you get scriptures. So I, I dealt into, I, I just dived into the aspect of healing. And I got those scriptures. I started, I started declaring them. Praise the Lord. That time my dad was looking at me and telling me, you are a mad guy. You, you are mad. Can you go to hospital? I am refusing. They know I, I'll do this. They thought me I'm crazy because now they've been hearing about cults, about people not going to church, I mean, not going to hospitals. So they thought, hey, you are a cult. I became radical. Guess what? On the third day, I woke up dry nose. I hadn't taken any medicine. Dry nose. My, my, my voice had come back fully. Praise the Lord. And from that day, I never again saw so that doctor. I fired my doctor. Hallelujah. I fired my doctor. Why? Because I was muttering. Because I was meditating on the word. Hallelujah. How much more you now? Hallelujah. And after doing that, the Lord led me to a healing ministry. I joined the, uh, the GCC. That time, I, it was in Mombasa. So I joined the Jesus Celebration Center, the hospital ministry. I joined. And when I joined, I thank God because I joined at the right time. Because when I joined like this, uh, Pastor Lai, at that time it was Bishop Lai, he called us for a meeting and he imparted to us the understanding and the mandate of hospital ministry. And he told us categorically, we are not just going to pray for the sick. Fine, they need us to pray for them because that's what they think is the solace. No, no, no. It's the, it's the consolation. No, no, no. We are going to heal the sick. Hallelujah. From that beginning, imagine I'm still young in faith. From that beginning, I, I got some corrections. And I got to understand, it's my money to lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. 
Bible did not say that the sick, uh, be, uh, if he was postured properly or if he's born again. No, no, no. The Bible says the sick shall recover. Hallelujah. And we had kind of understanding. We went forth. We went to Cosgene Hospital. And let me tell you, the very first time we went to Cosgene Hospital, we were ushered into the infectious ward. The infectious disease ward. Let me tell you one thing. Kama una una ronye pesi utakimbia. Because the moment we entered like this, the stench, the smell hit us. Hallelujah. So already there was an intimidation that hapo unamunangia si pazuri. And many of those people who were on those beds were having HIV positive or HIV positive. So the pata mtu wana sores, yeah, sores, mengine wana cough. So even you, you are wondering, eh, will I get this thing? <laughs> Hallelujah. So we entered. And I said, lay hands on the sick. Let me tell you one thing. In the next two months, those words became empty. Hallelujah. We became a discharge service. We were discharging them from, from, from hospital. In fact, one day I, I was there, I went, um, I don't know why that day I was alone. I think I was doing a follow-up. And I, I entered the ward. Guess what? One of the doctors, he is a young doctor, but he was older than me, definitely. He came running towards me and telling me to get out. He, was, he wanted to chase me. I was wondering, what's, what's going on? He wanted to fight me by the way. He wanted to really be physical on me. So I stood my ground. I was wondering, what's the problem? He said, no, what are you doing here? Are you allowed me? I said, yes, I've been given the, 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 the license to be able to, to come and, and pray with the sick. He said, no, 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 you better get out. Not this time, really. Yes, as we are continuing, uh, when you see, you see shouting at me, the, the matron came, the head nurse. She came and she told the doctor, no, 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 no. This man has been allowed. Please allow him for today. Then we shall sort out the issues. The guy was angry. He clicked and he went away. Hallelujah. The head nurse told me, since the day we started operating there, the GCC team, there have been a lot of discharges and very few deaths. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a record. If you want to go and check, there's, it's a record that in this year, this period of time, there were discharges. Wars became empty. Hallelujah. And there are very few deaths. Hallelujah. Healing ministry. How did it come about? Because I chose to believe God. Ha, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for my own healing. I know one, one thing. A ministry is an overflow of your life. Amen. And that's why it's important for you to take this word as your own. Why? Because when you take this word as your own, you become equipped and you are useful in the kingdom to help others. A minister is a person who ministers from the overflow of their own lives. I'm not coming to tell you stories of other people. I'm coming to tell you of my own. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have you received the word today? You can see we are, hey, it's already eight. Hallelujah. Let me just close. Let me just close. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Uh, despite uh, this surrounding, I believe you are receiving the word. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Uh, Pastor Goodness, come a bad Namaliza. It's okay. Yeah, okay, Sawa. You can continue if you want. But Namaliza, uh, amen. Yeah, Iko. Okay, Sawa. Sawa, Sawa. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, therefore, brethren, uh, I encourage you, uh, get into the word of God and, and start using that word. Amen. Start from what you know. Yeah? I'm not telling you today that you go and study the whole Bible so you can qualify for what I'm saying. No, 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 no. What you know already. Like now the, the scriptures I've just spoken to you. You go and study them. And as you study them and you start uh, uh, reading them, the, the, the word will jump at you. And that word that jumps at you is your rema word. You take it, start, de start declaring it, you start uh, uh, muttering it, you start thinking it through your mind. Hallelujah. And as you're doing that, there's no room for evil thoughts. There's no room for, 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 for defeatist thoughts. There's no room for, 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 for thoughts that are distracting you from the word of God. Contrary thoughts. You see, because you're filling up yourself with the word. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I urge you, brethren, take the word of God. Meditate upon it. Declare it. And walk by that. Amen. And you shall see good success in your life. 
You should see good success to where you have been given charge over. Praise the Lord. Yeah? You shall make your way prosperous. Hallelujah. Prosperity is not just money. Prosperity is uh, living uh, uh, health, uh, full of health. Living without debts. Hallelujah. Yeah? You are able to meet every, every financial obligation. Hallelujah. You are able to meet every family of obligation. <laughs> Hallelujah. So prosperity is just not just rich, it's just not money. It's more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord wants us to have. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Father, indeed, we are grateful for this word. And even as we have shared this word, King of God, I pray the Holy Spirit shall continually remind us of this word, even to help us to, to get into meditation. To get to understand that this is the conduit that you have placed for us to be able to, to, to believe the impossible Jehovah God. How I pray that this shall work in our lives. That even the, those who are hearing me shall come with testimonies of what you are doing in their lives, King of Glory. Of the mighty things that you have started releasing in their lives, so mighty God. Because of them using meditation, Jehovah God. I pray you shall uh, take us deeper into your word deeper into meditation, deeper in this work of faith, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. I mean, magnify holy name, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for those of us who have uh, joined us online. Maybe visually, maybe may, may be an issue, but I hope you got the audio. Uh, so study uh, the word, uh, get this word and, and go to the scriptures I've just mentioned with, uh, to you and, uh, and the Lord will bless you even the more. Uh, and even if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can use the, uh, the, the, the details on the page to be a blessing to, to this ministry by sending in your offering, your thanksgiving, your, your, your tithe, and the Lord will bless you mightily. Again, you are meeting here on Friday from, from 5 to 10. So tune in on Facebook Live and also on YouTube. God bless you mightily. Hallelujah. I'd like us to uh, prepare offerings.